End this map now! Oh god, I don't need the extra bonus experience for that. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, all of you! Because of your bravery, I can finally redraw my merchant caravan! That's good to hear. Still, coming back to Navasa, I'm stunned at the terrible state of things. You and me both. Who would have thought that Begnion would rule such an iron fist? They run your nation with boundless cruelty, looting the towns and sending your able-bodied men to camps. It breaks my heart. Breaks mine too. They make me miss Ashnar, Dane's late mad king. I never thought I'd say that. George! What's up, buddy? At least he never tried to destroy Crimea as a country. What do you mean by that? People make a country. One person, even a noble king, does not a country make. Daniel! What's up, bro? And a strong country only exists when its people are strong. As Begnion crushes the citizenry, it slowly destroys Dane. The dastards train Dane like a nation of slaves! This persists, Dane's troops will be sucked, and the nation itself will cease to be. Then, what should we do? We can, what can we do to save our country? There is a rumor. If it's true, there might be hope. Look here, George. Don't go spouting off rumors. Hey, Mustin! Alright, the gang's all here. No, I want to know. If there's a shred of hope for us, tell me! Well, the rumor is that King Ashton left a note from behind. How about what? Really? Is that true? King Ashton had a child? Why have I never heard of this? It's just a rumor, nothing more. But if it's true, it would be a great strike of it will strike a great fortune for Dane. In the last war, Crime used a scion of royal family to unify its people and rally the Liberation Army. So could Dane. That is true. And drive out the loathsome Begnion. So where is this orphan? According to rumor, he's in the east, near the desert of death, trying to raise an army to lay claim to the throne. Shall we go there? I don't know, a name like Desert of Death, hmm. Mikaya, what do you think? In the desert, an important encounter awaits us. It shall be one that changes the shape of our future. Well, that's it then. We must go to the desert to meet our destiny. Okay! We got some more bonus experience. Not a whole lot, but we get some bonus experience. Now, before we go... Let's start this little segment. Chapter 4, A Distant Voice. Meanwhile, the Desert of Death. That's right, we get the base. Oh yeah, we get a base. Fuck yes, we get a base. Alright. Most of it is pretty much has to remember it being from the first game. I mean, you can still, you can still manage your items. You can still go to the shop. You can now, it's now its own se section in the men in the base menu as opposed to going to the items and then go to shop. So you can go to buy stuff, buy items, sell your items, or forge equipment. I'm going to be forging. Ooh, I will be forging shit. You go to manage to get your bonus experience or get or shift around skills. Going to sports, we'll talk more about this next time. End of conversations, we'll talk more about these. And we'll talk more. They're basically the same as you remember them from FE9. We'll go on these next time. The library, which lets you check your battle records, any terms you might miss out of the game, and characters. The save and end. Oh boy, this is going to be quite a little trip of trips. Let's do a few things before we go, like shop for stuff. Get a new iron sword for Ed, even though, probably, even though he doesn't need one. An iron lance for... never mind. Hold on a second. An iron axe for Nolan, because he's in desperate need of a weapon that won't slow him down. A bronze knife for Sav. This is going to help tremendously. Knives, as opposed to daggers, are ranged. They're a little weaker, though. Keep this in mind. Mm, thunder and light spells. And I'm going to forge something right now. We're going to forge a lance for Aaron. 
you've given you're still given a choice of what weapon of what material you want to base it off of and and whatever and you can still choose how much one, how much weight you want to increase it by how much weight or hit or crit I'm gonna go poor from this but that's okay we're gonna get a lot of money in this map anyway so that's okay with me. Red. Okay. Sure, now I'm broke. Let's name it something nice. We had Poke, and we're still keeping that for Marsha, but since he's choosing on the party, I'm just gonna call this. Stabity. Aaron? This well. No, thank you, Daniel. And with that, I now bring this map to a close. We'll go. We'll go more into detail about the base next time on Ra on Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. This is Base Night Four Zero Four. I'll see you later, guys.